character swapping or switching, how are we going to do it in Unreal using blueprints? Hey there game developers, welcome back to another exciting tutorial. I'm going to teach you how to swap between two players on the scene using only the keys 1 and 2. And guess what? We are building all with blueprints. But before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more awesome tutorials, and join us at Woolen.com to stay updated on our latest content, get promo code for our courses, and much more. This lesson is part of an entire Blueprint course I'm working on, and today you can get ready for the Kickstarter campaign to complete it in record time. Your reward can be full access to all my past and future courses. Wow! What can be better? And now, let's start. In this lesson, we're going to import a new character from the marketplace. We know that we have a default character, but in this case, I want to play with a different one from the marketplace. Then we're going to set the parameters for game mode. We're going to identify where we can find the default game mode, and then we're going to play with these parameters. And finally, we're going to create a player controller to switch between two players. The goal is to deploy to spawn two players and have the opportunity to switch between them by clicking one or two. The first thing I'm going to do in this third person project in Unreal is create a new level. It's going to be a basic one, and I'm going to save it. Let's call this one Switch Character. And I'm going to save it on the Levels folder. Let's go to the Levels folder, and here we have it. Great. The next step is to add a new character. I will open Epic Games Launcher, go to the Marketplace, in Browse, select Characters, and in max price, free. Here is a cool character that we have now provided by Epic Games. I'm going to select it and add to the project. Close Epic Games. And here we have the folder corresponding to this character. Now that we imported the new character that we're going to use, we need to add a blueprint that will control this character. As you remember, we have the world setting, and in the world setting, we have the game mode. But right now, I don't have it by default. I don't have anything here saying what is the game mode. To know what is the game mode, we go to Edit, Project Settings, Maps and Modes, and here you can find the default game mode. Let's go to it. Here is the default game mode, and if I open it, I can go to the pawn, default pawn class. Here it is. And then I can select what is the default pawn that we're going to use, which is this one. Now I'm going to create a copy of this default pawn. I duplicate. And I'm going to call this character PP Pirate. I don't know why, but it looks like a pirate for me. I'm going to open this BP. And now the first thing we're going to do is to select another skeletal mesh. In switch character, we're going to the new folder that we added with the character. And we'll get two models and a model to pre-made characters. I will select this one, a skeletal mesh. Just click over it. Let's go to pirate. And now click on this button. The pirate is a sign. Now, if we go to the viewport, you can see that it is kind of broken. We're going to fix this. The problem that we are confronting is related to the fact that we are using a new skeletal mesh and we're using the previous animation. In this case, the solution is very easy. We just need to change this animation and look for the third person anim BP. And there we have it. Voila. Let's compile this and save and close the rest. Close this one, this one, this one. And in project settings, I'm going to figure out where was located the default game mode, which is this one. Let's click here to locate it here in the content browser. And now I'm going to assign it directly to the world settings. 
So I'm going to drag this one here. The other option is that you can just select the year and click this button. Now let's save all. If we try at this moment to run the game, it is possible that you will be prompted with this error, which is a third person character that is presenting some errors in the compilation process. Let's click over it, click here. This character is the one that is uh, downloaded automatically with a new character that we get from the marketplace. So as this is the event graph that is giving us errors, I'm going to select everything. You can select Control A and delete. And then I can get the event graph, the structure of the event graph of something that I know it is working. For example, here we have this blueprint and BP third person, and we have this event graph that we know it is working. So I'm going to Control A to select everything, Control C, and then going back to the, this other third person, I'm going to Control V. Compile, no errors, everything is working, excellent. Now if we play, everything is working as well. If we wish to change the default character, this is where the game mode is going to help us. As you can see in the game mode, we have a parameter which is called the default pawn class. If we click here, we see that this is the default that we are using. Now let's say I want to change it for my pirate. I'm going to click on my pirate and I can drag it until here or once I have it selected, I can click here. And if we play now, we have our pirate ready to run. Escape and save all. The next parameter that I'm going to create is the player controller. As you can see here in the world settings, you have one variable which, is, which refers to this parameter. At this moment, this is the player controller that we are using. I want to create a new, different player controller. Let's go to Blueprints, right click and select Blueprint class. In the Blueprint class, you have this common parent class called Player Controller. A player controller is an actor responsible for controlling a pawn used by the player. Let's click it and let's call this one BP Player Controller. And now this BP Player Controller is the one that I want to assign here. I can drag to this position or I can select and click here. Save. Now we're going to start working on the Blueprint class. So let's double click the BP player controller. Let's go to the event graph and let's remove the event click because we are not going to use it. Let me go back a moment to the scene. As you know, at this moment, what we have is a character that will be presented on the screen and that we are going to possess. We're going to have control over it as soon as we start playing. Now, I want to add the other character, which is the BP Pirate. I'm going to add it to the scene. What I want is that when I, oh, let me in fact reset this value, which is the Pirate, I'm going to put this third person, and I'll play. What I want is that I could control, I can switch between these two characters when I click the key one or two. This is what we're going to implement in the player controller. Let's go back to the BP player controller. And the first thing I need to do is to assign, is to create two variables that will represent these two pawns, these two characters that are going to be part of the scene. To do that, let's go to variables, select variables. And the first one will be for the default character. So let's call this one BP base character. And of course, it's not going to be a Boolean. It's going to be of the type of this character, which is going to be BP third. And here is BP third person character, object reference, selected. Excellent. We've ha we have the first one. And the second will be similar, but in this case, will be the BP pirate. Select. And the variable type will be BP pirate. Here it is, object reference, and there we have it. Let's compile and save. Now we need to assign values to these variables. How are we going to do that? Well, from here, 
we're going to find a node called get actor of class, which is this one. And we're going to select the class that we are trying to find out. As we talk a moment, we are going to have two types of BPs, of characters here, of pawns. In this case, are going to be one is going to be a BP pirate and the other is going to be a BP third person. Going back to our player controller, the first one I want to assign is the BP third person character. What the game will do is he's going to start and he will find on the scene what pawn is of the type BP third person. And this value will be assigned to this variable, like this. This is the return value that we'll get from this get actor, and we are going to assign it here. Now, as you can imagine, we're going to continue this process for the other get actor of class. In this case, it's going to be the other class, which is the class related to BP pirate, which is BP underscore pirate. Now, the engine will find what is the character, which is the of the type BP pirate, and I'm going to assign it to this value. Set, connect this one with this one, and now we have both variables initialized. So as soon as the game starts, as soon as the game begins, they're going to find first what is the actor of the type BP third person, and we're going to assign it to the base character, and then we're going to find what is the actor of the type BP pirate, and we're going to assign it to the variable BP pirate. Compile and save. Now let's go to the final part, which is the possession of the pawn. To call the events of the possession, I want to use the keys one or two on my keyboard. So let's right click and look for keyboard. And in the keyboard, I will select one. Let's repeat the process. But in this case, I'm going to select the keyboard or the key, sorry, two. Before going to possess a new object, it is important to unpossess the previous one. So before going to the possession, I'm going to click here to press and select unpossess. This will unpossess any object that is currently under my possession. And then, as you can imagine, the easy part, which will be the possess. Now, the possess requires a parameter, which is what is the pawn that you wish to possess. In this case, I want that for the key one, I wish to possess the base character. Get and link this one here. And now we can literally repeat this process, command copy, command B, going to put it on the bottom and link, but now for the key two. And the one that I want to possess is, in this case, the pirate. So get pirate and link it here. Excellent. Let's compile, save, and go to the scene. As soon as we start the scene, we have control of our default character. But if I click two, now I have control of the other character. And again, I can go back to one and select the other and now to, to return. Let's resume what we learned in this lesson. The first thing was we learned how to import and set a new BP character from the marketplace. We download it from the marketplace and then we use our original BP to make some changes and make this character to work. Then we learned how to find and change game mode parameters. We identified where we can find the default game mode and then we play with some of these parameters, including changing the character BP, and of course changing the next one, which is the controller. We also create a controller to possess two different players. Using the keys 1 and 2, we change between two different players. I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for joining me on this journey into Unreal Engine 5 and Blueprint Magic. I hope you're feeling inspired and ready to implement character swapping in your own game. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more epic tutorials, and join us at Woolen.com for exclusive promo codes, content, and updates. And hey, 
Let's make this course a reality together by supporting our Kickstarter campaign. Your contribution will help us continue to create valuable resources for the game development community. Until next time, keep creating, keep innovating, and happy gaming.